Hello, hello, hello. I am Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next Fans Toys review on what I am now going to be calling Fans Toys Friday because I, th I think it works. So anything that I have that's Fans Toys, I will do on Friday. On a Friday. Um, it, I may miss a Friday here and there just because of either I'm really tired from work or I had something going on that I couldn't get to it. But I will get my Fans Toys reviews out on Fridays. Um, and here we're looking at Fans Toys Rig, a.k.a. Huffer. And I love this figure. This is a great great huffer i know so many people had an issue with the arms but it's animation accurate it's perfect he looks the best the the bad cube huff was okay but it was it was not the animation huffer this is the animation huffer this looks amazing and they just love it but let's take a look at our package first so here we got Rig in the robot mode and his vehicle mode. Again, very cool, very nice. On that side, Rig, you can kind of see me. Hi. Rig, Rig, Rig. Yeah, and on the back, we got our barcode, our ages 15 plus. We've got our bio which is also on the card and i'll show that in a minute and our product shots so very nice and again i need these two i do not have them yet i need them I need them <laughs> but there's the packaging and again like i said he comes with this card i love the collector's cards personally i know quite a few reviewers could do without but i like them i like having them and on the back that same bio, I hope you can read that. I know it's really small wording, but there you can see more product shots and his stats. So yeah. So now here we have Huffer, and you can see I got Autobot symbols on in both his vehicle mode, and you will see them in his robot mode. And yeah, he's got some heft to him. He's some decent die cast. Like he's got some some nice heft to him course rubber wheels they they do that and i like seeing that um i think it works looks very nice try and get everything where okay hold on there we go sometimes i do not have everything transformed right and it is not without lack of trying but Let's see. There we go. But you can see great chrome wheels. Push that down for now. It's not really needed. Um, could use a little bit of paint for the tail lights. That would have been nice. Um, headlights didn't really need to be painted. That's animation accurate. But I do love the translucent blue for these turn signals translucent blue for the windshield uh, blue paint for the side windows so very cool definitely like that there's the bottom you can see his transformation on that again really really liking this guy now one thing that is really nifty that I'm so glad they included is you lift this up and what we can do, I gotta grab it. We can bring in MP44 Prime's trailer. Bring those up and you can see that it's going to fit in. I think, yep, just like that. And there we have Huffer hauling Prime's trailer for him. So awesome. I absolutely love that. Yeah, it does lift it up a little bit, but 
you know, it is what it is. It's, it, I'm fine with it. And I've got dust on this trailer like crazy. <laughs> I got to go through and dust all my figures, honestly. But, yeah, I thought that was so cool. And I'm, I will go into the trailer when I finally get into Official Masterpiece and get to Prime. That is going to be a long video. I may do a two-parter on that. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out when I get to it. I'm actually hoping that by the time I get to MP44 Optimus Prime, um, I'll have a better camera, more professional camera, but we'll see what happens when I get to that point. But yeah, so there we have Huffer hauling Prime's trailer. Then I'll just lift it up. And I'm going to set this off to the side. Don't fall. All right. Whoops. Now, another thing that we can do is, so I've got his three guns sort of combined here, and what we can do is bring this down, fold this in, and where the tra trailer hooked up, can also attach that. And there, it's got those. And you can, you know, it's, it's options. It's it's there if you want to do it. But we'll close that up. So, yeah, it's it's there if you want to do that. This all just like folds together. And these just tab in right there. But we'll look more at his weapons in robot mode. Which. I think we'll get down to transforming him now. So, I mean, I don't think there's anything that... Well, okay, no, nope, there's a few things. So, some nice details here and here. You know, it all looks good. But, you know, he is an orange semi. And he looks good. And he is hefty. I mean, just the weight alone, he is hefty. But, yeah. So, I think... That is going to be it for vehicle mode. So we lift you up so we can start transforming them. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these in because otherwise I'll forget. Then we want to lift these up and we can rotate these out for now. Just like that. And these, we're going to bring this one down. And then, because otherwise, if you don't do it like that, when you they bump into each other. So you want to bring one down in order to rotate the other one. And then they fit much better together. Just like that. So now, we're going to untab these once I can get them <laughs> there we go there we go there's one and there's the other whoops and it all it untabs everything else so there's multiple tab points here and what we got is there's these tabs on the side that tab inside here and then there's tabs right here that tab here and then these tabs go into those slots there but there is all of that on tabs so we're just gonna set that off like that and then we'll untab this so we can start on the legs so there's there's like three tab points for this there's a tab right here that tabs in to his butt and then two small tabs here that tab into the back of the legs so now what we'll do we want to rotate here then we're gonna rotate here oh one thing we want to make sure is we want this opened up so when we rotate this up close that in and that helps lock it in then fold it here and here and rotate and there's foot so same thing gonna rotate bring it all down 
like that. Plug that in. And that'll help hold it all together. Rotate that down. Rotate that. Rotate the foot. And there's that. And then we'll just rotate his waist. And there's his legs all done. So. Yeah, we'll get to... We'll get to stances in a bit. All right, now untab this, and this tabs in right there. We're gonna bring it all up like this. Let's bring that down. We can open this up. And this, is, and then untab all of this. We'll rotate his head around just so it's ready. So now, with this opened up like this, we're going to bring this up just like this. Now, we're going to rotate in these wheels and bring one a little further so we can bring this other one in. Then we close them up. And then this piece right here. I'm just going to close it up like that. That helps hide that when it's up against his back. And then this we'll bring in and tab in like that. And then we're going to, uh, I think, okay. Yeah, so leave it just like that for now. Now all of this, fold in, leave that like that. Want to untab these windows or these sides the side windows so they they tab in like that and untab them and rotate them and then rotate these in you kind of want to bring it up a little bit before you do that so and then rotate this in and just kind of leave it hanging like that now these are going to come up like this bring them in like this so when it all comes up we want these tabs going into those slots right there come on we want to get everything angled right there we go there we go all right there is that now still want to leave that unlocked like that so this also we want to do is bring this down until it sits like that and there's it's going to tab in in a way but it's real soft tab so now we'll leave we want to leave this open like this rotate this up untab and it's a it's a little soft tab rotate the wheels in although one there we go you kind of want to get a good grip so you don't like pull the wheel off or break anything you get you know you hear that so you want to get a good grip now untab these and open them up we're gonna rotate this all in just like this close this up I want to bring these up and they're gonna sit in like that for now and it doesn't really lock them into place it just sort of holds them there these are gonna tab into the back to help hold it all in so we want to make sure we angle this right push that in we'll rotate this down so we got nice soft tab there and the final bit we're going to rotate the hands around rotate the hands around and i think that might be it that is all there is to it And here we have
Huffer in his robot mode, aka Rig, in his robot mode. And he looks great. I like it. You can see I got Autobot symbol on his chest. I know I'm kind of off center. I'm not very, I'm not the best at putting the stickers on. I try and get them as, as in the middle as I can. If it irritates me too much, I will just take it off and try again <laughs> with an, uh, another sticker. But yeah, looks great. He's got his usual backpack here. Of course, want to make sure that he's standing straight. So yeah, definitely a great figure. I love this figure. I think for Huffer, like fans toys, like they do with a lot of their figures, almost all of them. There's some that I don't think hit it right, but this one knocked it out of the park. This is Huffer. Like this is straight out of the cartoon Huffer. Yes, the, the backpack is like, you know, not completely like smooth, but for purpose of transformation, it works. It works great. Like, you would, I mean, without transforming it, you would have thought these. this would be the back. And the wheels would hook somewhere. No. Like, the way they did it, like, you didn't realize this is the cab. This is part of the cab, but this also has the backside to it. And the way they hide the wheels, it's amazing. It's great. Like, the engineering on this guy is just incredible. Like, I love this guy. He is an amazing figure. Now, let us... Whoa! You stay standing there, buddy. Let us take a look at that Huffer head. And that is Huffer. You know, that's... It's that... Uh, but we're not fighters like they are, Prime. <laughs> Sorry, that's my whining huffer. <laughs> Got the purple and this um, sort of bluish purple. Almost like that's the, the window. You know, like, it, it it's so, so good. I mean, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this guy that so many others have haven't already said, you know. But same color down here as there is here. Got all this orange and just there's a bit of a shine to it. I don't know if you can pick that up. Like metallic type shine looks really good. Absolutely love it. Articulation, the head can rotate can look up that far can look down that far so not too much arms come out that far can rotate we do have bicep swivel we have 90 for the elbow we have wrist so that's good we have waist oh mine gets a little caught like right in there now for legs bring this up and he can kick forward that far kick back mm, that far uh, can he do it not quite the full van dam we do have thigh we have slightly over 90 on the knee and the foot has that much ankle pivot Decent amount of articulation with this guy. Like, really good amount. Like, I am happy with the amount of articulation we get. Now, accessories. So, I will look at the guns in a bit, but he does come with an alternate head. More of that, uh, I don't know if you kind of want to call it yelling face or whining face, but the way this pops off is I think we just get a grip and sort of slide it off yep slide it off and then slide the new one on 
and there you go so it works so depending on what face you want I don't know if I want to go with this face or stick with his uh, stoic face sort of I don't know we'll leave this face on for now I'll, de I'll, I'll decide when I put him back on the shelf now weapons he's got his big rifle which bring this down bring this down there's his big rifle very nice looks really good and then he's got these two little weapons that are actually slightly different so they're not quite the same so there's this one we just we can bring this down so yeah there's that gun and then this gun they both look really good so we'll start with uh, what we can do it's just like for truck mode we can put these together he can hold them in his hands and it's this it's gonna sit sort of in the back of his hand like that it can be a little bit of a pain getting it plugged in let's see if I can do it or not <laughs> Uh, nearly almost okay I think I got it so he can hold it like this which is cool I did actually get it so otherwise if you want we can give him these weapons in each hand come on get in there there we go Same thing with this one. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for being a little quiet here. Just trying to make sure that I can get it. There we go. So there he can hold them. Hold one in each hand, and this one is looking a bit funky. Like, I think, yeah, that one I don't think is in there properly. No. All right, now it might be, I think. There we go. And there he is, dual wielding. So, again, very cool. Really like this guy. I think I'm going to put him, when I put him back on the shelf, I'm going to have him just just like this. Kind of change it up to how I had it. I had him holding this big old cannon here. His big old beefy beast right here. With this face. So, I think when he goes back on the shelf with his fellow Autobots, we'll use that face. And dual wielding it looks good so definitely recommend this guy cannot recommend this guy enough um, he is a must-have for your masterpiece collection great looking Huffer exactly what Huffer looks like in the show you know just jumped right off the page in robot mode he's a little taller than B which is exactly how he should be. Um, but yet he still works as a mini bot, you know, as one of the mini bots. So it is definitely a great addition. Um, I think he's still available on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I think just like with. Um, <sighs> Now I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> Just like with uh, Sea Spray, 
um, aka Spindrift 2.0. You know, he's he wasn't a huge, huge seller. I think for a lot of people, it's the way his arms are. But, I mean, it works. It's exactly what Huffer looks like. For me, my collection, I like cartoon accuracy. That's what I prefer. I want it to be as close to the cartoon as possible on looks, on size, you know, comparisons. Yes, it's not going to be completely accurate because there were so many animation um, errors. But as close as possible, that's what I'm looking for. This isn't going to be for everybody. I know for some they want something that just yeah, fits their aesthetic. And for that, Bad Cube Huff, you know, great figure. Just wasn't me personally. I like this. Like, I was so happy when they announced this. I put in my pre-order for it right away and was ecstatic when I got it. But, yeah. So check Big Bad Toy Store. I think they still have some on hand or in stock. Um, TF Source, maybe. Um, possibly Show Z. Agabus, maybe. Uh, could try Robo Toy Base. But, yeah. Definitely a few places to try if you're looking for this guy. You know, and he's going to be close to uh, uh, his first his, uh, first release retail. I don't think he's gone out much, if any. Um, so, don't quote me on that, though. I have been wrong in the past. And I do apologize for any time that I've been wrong on uh, price quotes. You know, we make mistakes. All human. Just how it is. But, yeah. So, good luck on finding him if you're looking for him. I hope uh, this review helps answer a few questions you may have had about him. Um, I know some of the big reviewers like uh, MGO and... Who else? Well, M goes the one that I watch a lot for the um, the masterpiece ones, but you know I think Bobby Skullface has already has had our, a review out of him from a while ago. So I know I'm like a few, a few months behind those guys, but behind a lot of them for this. So, but hey, it's not about who gets one out first. It's it's I'm doing this. I mean, they're doing it for for fun, you know, for because they enjoy it. But I and that's what I'm doing this for. It's it's my enjoyment. I love doing this for you guys, showing you what I have in my collection, helping you decide if you want to hunt down the figure or not. Whether it's just came out like with a legacy figure or if it's older, you know. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> and end my review here. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.